Writing a Time Series Report This video teaches how to write up a time series analysis. You can see an example of such a report in the video Time Series Report example. These videos are part of the At My Pace Time Series app and online course. You may be asked by a teacher or employer to analyse and report on a time series. It can be difficult to know what to include and in what order. The report structure given here emphasises the practical meaning of the analysis rather than the mathematics underlying the analysis. To give a good first impression, a report needs a good title. The title should be informative and give or hint at the results of the analysis. Write at last. Do not call your time series analysis, time series analysis. Next, you need an introduction. In about three sentences, summarise the findings. This may be the only thing your employer reads. A background section comes next. In the background section, you tell what the series is about. You should explain the units, such as percentage, or thousands of people, or millions of dollars. You also need to give the time frame and interval at which the data is collected. Give the source of the data. Explain the purpose of the analysis, why you are studying this series, or why this analysis would be useful to someone else. Now we get to the main part of the report, where you explain the different components, trend, seasonality, and variation. For each of the components, you should give evidence from the graphs or output to support what you're saying. You should also apply the findings to the real-world context and purpose of the investigation. Let's start with trend. Describe the shape of the trend. Does it mostly go up or down, or does it change direction? How strong is the trend? What is the overall trend for the series? How does this relate to the context? What implications are there for the purpose of the investigation? Next, seasonality. How regular is the seasonality? Is it pretty much the same over the life of the series or does it change? How does this relate to the context and purpose of the investigation? For example, a consistent seasonal pattern relates to a clear real-life pattern. What is the shape of the seasonality? This can be really interesting. Where are the peaks and troughs and how does this relate to the context and purpose of the investigation? You may wish to comment on whether you believe an additive seasonal pattern is a good model in this instance, or whether a multiplicative model might be more applicable. Variation or residuals. The residuals are the unexplained part of the series, what is left after we take out the trend and seasonality. Look at the scale. Perhaps give the variation as a percentage of the actual values to give an idea of the relative size. How does this relate to the context and purpose of the investigation? A high percentage of unexplained variation would indicate a fairly irregular series which will be difficult to predict reliably. You should compare the relative contribution of components. Look at the scales of the graphs for this. Which is more important out of seasonality and trend? Do they account for most of the variation or is there still a lot of residual variation? And how does this relate to the context and purpose of the investigation? You should also comment on any irregularities and outliers. Are there any obviously unusual values in the series? Can these be accounted for by some real-world phenomenon? For example, there might have been a big sporting event or a general election. Predicting. Give the predictions for a sensible number of future periods. One or two years is the most you should use. You need to give the prediction intervals and round the values sensibly. And explain why the intervals increase in size for later values. Limitations of the analysis. Explain how time series are using only the values in the series to predict. If there is a change in circumstances, this cannot be predicted. Conclusions. In one or two sentences, summarise the findings. You will be repeating information from the body of the report. As always, relate the findings to the real-world context and purpose of the investigation. Be careful. Copy and paste in graphs and output for evidence. Make sure you use correct and appropriate rounding. Use the appropriate technical terms correctly. Be clear so that a non-expert could understand what you have written. In our other videos and in our At My Pace time series app, you can see an example of a report on a time series analysis. You can also learn more about the components of time series using Insight to Analyze and evaluating a model.